this is uh, heat number two of the night week one heavy heavy class starting in uh, P7 this is the second qualifying race of the night so uh, my finishing position from the last heat uh, points that I acquired from that heat plus the points from this heat will uh, determine the starting lineup for the final race later on tonight last race was uh, cart was pretty bad but uh, I was on this cart earlier in the day in practice and uh, it felt relatively decent uh, not particularly fast but uh, I also was not in much traffic so I don't have much to go off of this guy needs to close the gap a little bit slow start man get up there Back in, stepping out a little bit. Hard handles pretty poorly in the right handers, but uh, it's got good straightaway speed. It does pretty good in the lefts. Guy in front of me got sideways, and I had to check up a little bit. lift a lot does a lot better in the lefts have to keep that in mind for later have to uh, look for an opportunity to make a pass in one of the left hand corners this guy's starting to pull away a little bit from me gotta try to keep that distance close Oh yeah, made up good ground there. See if I can make a move in this double right. Cart does not handle good in the double right. Have to lift a lot. Push is really bad in that right-hander. Kills my straightaway speed. Straightaway speed. I see somebody shadow behind me. so slow in those right-handers that's where they're gonna make up the most amount of ground on me looks like uh, judging by the shadow somebody's right on my tail I can hear them give a quick glance oh yeah <laughs> somebody right behind me out a little bit scrub too much speed I felt somebody tap me from behind and I'm going so slow in that right-hander shadow they're right on my tail 
drilled me from behind after that right-hander. It's because uh, it's this car pushes so bad. I have to lift a lot, especially right there too. of center trying to uh, play a little defense that's so slow the shadow right behind me I think the only reason why I've been able to stay in front of whoever's behind me is because of I think I'm a little better in these left-hand corners whatever I lose here in these rights I make it up in the lefts that lap car caught it in a bad spot and that opened up the bottom for this guy to try to take advantage but I'm running it in a little deep to hold the position saw his nose under me but uh, I was able to run it in a little extra deep and still maintain still driving a little bit left of what I normally drive just to try to mess up his corner entry and not let him get a good run on the bottom it's very hard to defend turn one because there's so many different lines you could possibly take Entered that corner a little bit lower than normal. Trying to uh, play defensive, but ultimately it messed me up. I'm tailing out bad. He might get me on this straightaway. I feel him pushing me. It's two laps to go. Still pushing me. He might push me through this braking zone. Still pushing me. Feels like in the when I hit the brakes and I let off the brakes, like the brakes are still grabbing. Still getting hit from behind. Definitely in this guy's way. Let's see if I can hold out for another couple of laps. Oh, he got into me again. It's gonna be a drag race down the front straightaway, white flag. in front of him. I'll be clear going into turn one. Lap car might come into, into play. Try to dive under this guy. Uh, left the bottom open. I'm going to run it in a little hard. Ran out wide. If I can stay next to him, might be okay. Lap cars all in my way. This guy shoved me out wide. Uh, 
and we were side by side coming to the checkered and uh had a lap car in the way so uh you know i don't i don't blame this guy for for uh trying to squeeze me out that's part of it i don't know who that is but uh he ran a good race That was a good move on his part using the lap car as a pick. We caught him in a bad spot on the track. Oh my, is that, might be Wayne. <laughs> 